Hey guys! Welcome back to Blockman Editor Tutorials. Today, let's learn how to make the red light green light in Squid Game. First, we need a lobby map and game map. Create two regions in the lobby map. One for the portal region. And the other is a map region that contains the entire lobby. We also need two regions in the game map. One for playing region. And the other is a death region. Prepare the character models of the girl and the guard in advance. And some buffs will be used in game. For example, the buff of the girl turning head. And the buff of playing music with different speeds. These buffs will be explained when we use them. Next comes the key point for today. Let's look at how to make the game. The portal is triggered by region events. Let's edit specific triggers in the portal. Select when the entity enters the region as the trigger. First, we need an if else node. The teleporting operation works when the portal switch is open. Here we create a global variable to be used as a portal switch. Then we need to set the judgment condition. The portal switch is open when the switch variable is 1. And the teleporting operation can be performed. Next let's teleport the entity to the game map. Click the entity to set position. Which can move the entity to the location where we set. Set the end map to the game map. Select a position as a spawn point in the game map. Set the position to the event. And the portal is done. It also allows us to set the player's orientation on the map after teleporting. We need to set a tag to the entity when the teleport is complete. We can get the map information by the tag. Here we use the entity variable map to make a tag. Pay attention to the difference of entity variable and global variable. Entity variables can record different values for different entities, but the global variables are used to record global values. We need to differentiate both of them when we use them. Here we make the variable value is 1 when entities enter the portal. This variable will become a condition for other events. Open game settings, click events and script, and select edit events. Select when the game officially starts as a trigger. First, we create a global variable called time and set its value to 100. Next, start the counter. We're going to use the counter for the countdown effect. Set a counter that repeats 100 times and let it do every second. Click the variable and select global variable. Decrement the global variable time by evaluating it. And passes the calculated value back to the time variable. Through the countdown function of the time variable, we can get 100 exact time nodes. And we can set events by these nodes. Here we need to add a condition. Set the variable value to 100 when the time is 0. And start another counter. Let the time variable countdown. Repeat every 100 seconds. And we are done the game 100 second setting. Let's merge these logic nodes by time nodes. We set the portal switch is open at 9 1s and close at 8 1s. Start the counter. Also, once per second, repeat a larger number of times. Now, our condition is that. Let the transfer variable value is 1 at the 9 0s. The entity can teleport when it enters the portal. Then judge again. Let the transfer variable value be 0 at the 8 0s. We're done with game time and portal switch settings.
Click the Lobby Region Events to edit. Select when the entity enters the region as the trigger. By the way of giving the entity a buff. Set background music for players, enter the lobby. Here we use a buff that name is Lobby. This is used to add music to the entity. Start a counter that runs once per second. Perform a time no judge. When the time variable value is 99, use the display tips to make the welcome text. Perform again the time judge. When time is at the 80s, start a counter that repeats 80 times. If the entity variable map is 0, then open the display tips. For those still waiting for the next round in the lobby, start a display tip about 80 seconds counter. We're done with the background music and waiting time in the game lobby setting. Next we set up the event that Open and close the glass door in front of the transport region. Turn on NFL Snow. When the time variable value is 91, replace the glass doors in the lobby map with air blocks. You need to notice that we need to make a copy of the original air block. So we can remove the collider from the block. The specific region in which the block is replaced, we can select the glass block we want to replace on the map. After confirming the coordinates, Fill in the table to determine the range size, then add a condition. When the time variable value is 81, add the original glass block back to close the teleport region. We're done with the door setting in the teleport region. Look at the effects in the game. In order not to interfere with the normal game, we also have to turn off the waiting music on the entity. Set in teleport region. Stop the music by turning off the lobby buff after the player teleports out. Select the game map and click to edit the event. First, we need to change the tags on the player entering the map. Set the entity variable map as 1. Then we give players some text tips. Start a counter that runs once per second, at a time no condition. When the time variable value is 81, open tips, welcome to red light green light. Set the display time to 3s. Then when the time variable value is 78, open tips, pay attention to the girl's head. Last, when the time variable value is 75, open tips attention the game is about to start then let's set up the air wall and the counter first at a condition players will make actions only when the entity variable map value is one there is a second judgment to be made when the time node value is 70 remove air wall from the game map the game is about to end when time is one restore the air wall in the game map when the time is 70 we need another event. We use 7-0 as countdown to display game time. Click the entity player event to edit. We need to set up player death judgment event in game. Select when the entity enters the game as the trigger point for the event. Start a counter that runs once per second. Set a double condition judgment. When the entity variable map is 1, and the variable time is 70. We make the players do the following actions. There are more events to be added here. So we execute all action nodes in the logic option to link different events group. Add the first event group to the player. Add CD1 buff. It is used to add 8s of countdown music. Then we calculate the player's current position by using the entity variable. Here we add two new entity variables, position 1 and position 2. By calculating the speed of the music, we calculate the player's current position, 
the music is playing 5-4-S, and record it in the position 1 variable location, we again calculate the player's position, and record it in the variable location 2 when music is playing 5-5-S, and then we compare two positions. The player is dead if the position of the two records is different. Here we create the entity variable that controls damage. The damage switch is turned on, when the variable die equals 1. The damage to the player is still done with a buff. Shot effect, add shot sound, and 100 health damage to the player. Here we're done with the first group run 1. Start a counter, delay 11 6s, and execute run 1 again. Then delay 23 2s, and execute the second group run 2. Change the music to CD2 that time is 6s. Change the delay time to 4 5s and 4 6s. Then we're done with the second group run 2. Delay 3 2s, and execute it again. Delay 49s, we set up the third event group. Change the music buff to CD3 that time is 4s. Change the judgment time to 3s and 3 1s. Then we're done with the third group run 3. Delay 46 1s, and execute it again. Delay 51 1s, we set up the fourth event group. Change the music buff to CD4 that time is 2s. Change the judgment time to 2 2s and 2 3s. Then we're done with the fourth group run 4. Delay 55 3s, and execute it again. Delay 59 1s, we set up the fifth event group. Change the music buff to CD4 that time is 1s. Change the judgment time to 1 4s and 1 5s. Then we're done with the fifth group run 5. Change the music to CD1 when we delay 6 1s. Turn on judgment after 9s delay. If the entity variable map equals 1, set the entity variable die equals 1. When the game time is over, this event is used to fail the player, who stays in the game area still. Finally, remove the player's music buff. We're done all events on the players. Next we set up the entity to teleport back to the lobby map. Open the game region event editor. When the time variable value is 1, turn on the judgment again. If the entity is dead, set the entity to respawn at lobby map. The specific position is the spawn point. Click Death Region Edit Events to edit. Select, when the entity enters the region, as the trigger point for the event. Add a condition, when the entity variable map is 1. Set the entity variable die as 1 and turn on the death switch. Then select, when the entity leaves the region. Set the entity variable die as 0 and turn off the death switch. And set the entity variable map as 0. This prevents players who have already passed the game from getting damage when coming back to the area. Next start a counter. Add a double condition judgment when the variable map is not 1 and the variable time is 1. The player has passed the game and teleport the player to the lobby map. Let's look back at the logic that about the entity enters the region. When the time node value is 1 and some players are still alive on the map, teleport these players to the lobby map. When the entity enters the region, we need an if else node when the variable map is 0. Add a tip that congratulates the player pass game. Then we're done with game win conditions and teleporting the lobby map. Click the girl NPC and edit events. Select, when the entity enters the game, as the trigger point for the event. Add a counter and an if underscore else node. When the time node value is 70, delay 5 to S, and add a turn head buff on the NPC. And set delay time as 5 5 S. Then nested a 5 to S counter to turn off the buff. The following events are repeated operations. Here is the time nodes form. And we're done all event setting here. Let's look at the effects in the game.
Thanks for watching, hope this video helps. If you want more detail about our editor you can comment below or post on our official forum. See you next time.